parallel beam of white light falls on a thin film whose refractive index is given incident angle is given what must be the film thickness such that yellow light with the given lambda is reflected most intensively so one light is reflected from the surface itself and another will go in will be reflected from the bottom surface and then come out again <coughs> excuse me and uh, these two rays must be interfering constructively in order to get a intensive color of yellow light with a given lambda so with this lambda there must be a constructive interference between 1 and 2 so the part difference uh because of this reflection and because of this going in and out that must be equal to n lambda so that is the concept so to calculate the part difference let's say so up to here the part difference was same and after and if you take this perpendicular draw this perpendicular points p and q so we need to find the part difference between op and and this length right and of course because of the reflection if there is any change so let's calculate what is this length of x1 and then let's calculate what is this uh, length 2x2 so let's find that first so x2 the theta one is given to us so we can find this angle will be r so we know what is this angle so let's say this is x so this will help us in finding x1 and x2 and we need to find the film thickness so let's assume that to be h so x2 we can immediately see is h by cos r right x2 is h by cos r and x1 is x sin theta 1 so this is theta 1 this is also theta 1 so this is 90 minus theta 1 so this is theta 1 so x1 is x sin theta 1 and we can relate now x and x2 so x sin theta 1 and x is twice of x2 sin r right so this is x2 sin r this is x2 sin r so twice of x2 sin r is x and x2 we have seen is h by cos r so we'll put that and now we have this so we are not given r but we can of course find r by snell's law so sin theta 1 is equal to n sin r so if this is angle r then sin r is sin theta 1 by n so this is this so now we have uh, we have the literal path values of x1 and 2x2 so path traveled by 1 from o to p so from o to p path traveled by this ray is x1 plus lambda by 2 so we are adding lambda by 2 due to the reflection from denser medium that is glass so from air when the when it gets reflected from glass surface lambda by 2 gets added you can subtract also you, even if you do minus it does not matter because eventually we are going to equate it with a n times lambda so n can be n can uh, correspondingly adjust itself to accommodate this plus or minus sign so it does not matter if you add plus lambda by 2 or minus lambda by 2 so you uh, you can actually try with minus lambda by 2 you will see that uh, you will get the same answer so you you might get 2 and minus 1 but that's all that's the only difference but n is a variable so it does not matter important thing is that lambda by 2 is added so delta 1 is equal to x1 plus lambda by 2 lambda by 2 so x1 plus lambda by 2 now the one which is goes inside and then when it is reflected here so this reflection is from the rarer medium so there is no change in phase so the phase difference remains same so when it emerges from point q the part difference of this uh, ray 2 from o to q is simply 2x2 so part traveled by 2 from o to q is simply 2 times x2 into n of course because it is traveling inside the medium now for constructive interference this delta 1 minus delta 2 must be equal to n lambda so you can see we we'll just put the values here so we'll put the value of x1 as this plus lambda by 2 minus 
2 n times x2 so minus 2 n times x2 from here is equal to n lambda uh, so this uh, so you can see now right that uh, it doesn't matter what is you put plus or minus lambda by 2 in fact i have <laughs> i have uh, to make it look better i have just assumed this to be minus lambda by 2 so when you take that here that becomes 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 now 10r so from here you can see 10r is sin theta 1 by this so this becomes this minus uh, 2nh by cos r so we'll put the value of cos r also is equal to this so after that uh, I was lacking space, so I have simplified it separately. You can do that. And only variable in this whole thing is h. So you'll find the value of h to be this. So again, if you just put, uh, if you change the sign here, the sign here will change, but it does not matter. All right. 